the surveillance of mosquitoes at the very moment is extremely ineffective. And that is our problem statement. Our solution is, well, to make an automated mosquito catcher and identifier. Now, what this will basically do is catch mosquitoes live and ultimately use AI to identify that particular species and with that we'll be able to get a certain demographic or a certain idea on what mosquitoes are in majority. At the top we see the cap and at the, uh, this is the tube. In the cap we have attached some LED lights. Below the LED lights there's a net and below that net we'll notice a fan in, attached inside. The mosquitoes enter from these holes inside the net because of the vacuum generated by the fan. Below the fan, we are planning to attach some attractants which will allure the uh, mosquitoes towards the trap. Along this device, we'll uh, uh, prepare a carbon dioxide kit which will be placed next to it, maybe two or three feet away. The carbon dioxide kit will indigenously uh, generate a carbon dioxide in the surrounding area so that the mosquitoes get attracted much faster as compared to the normal attractants. The normal kind of lures that we are using are cow urine tablets and coconut water. We have also used uh, sugar water as well. What we plan to do is sample the mosquito population and figure out what is the density of mosquitoes in specific areas and hence build a correlation between the outbreak of diseases versus the rate of growth of the mosquito population. There are two main companies, Biogens and Ecovet. Biogens is an independent organization that has severely overpriced products and our, um, Ecovet is working with the government, so it is somewhat dependent. Our plan is to also be independent, but at the same time have extremely cheap and affordable track. We try to engulf our two streams of medical and engineering. We create, we do research like how mosquito attract, or which types of the attractants is beneficial. And the other engineering teams, engineering boys that did the, all types of the uh, light and electronics and design to create uh, this type of trap. We did not realize that the design of the trap and the placement of sensors was very much intertwined with each other. If the sensors were not placed correctly, the results would be incorrect. If there were no slots to place the sensors, then we would not be able to uh, get a good amount of data. I decided to work with a lightweight neural network model because we thought that it would be a good idea to place a compute over inside the trap itself, maybe a Raspberry Pi. But we realized that placing that would increase the cost drastically. So we had to drop that idea and consider uploading, taking the picture of the mosquitoes we captured and directly uploading it to the server using an IoT device. I knew how to design on CAD, but the truth is I didn't really know how to actually, you know, convert what I have into an assembly and then eventually into an assembly drawing and then into finally a 3D printing model. So as you can see, this particular top part of the trap here was actually purely 3D printed. This is literally our first competition after one and a half years of doing absolutely nothing. And it's like a way of coming back into the sphere of, you know, being extremely social, talking to people and communicating with one another and putting your ideas forth. And that's what I really think is very, very important. And that's what I think that we really learned.